chapter 12 ends the module. So we're going to end the module with a bang. So this is technically word problems that deal with division. So the chapter has two lessons. The first lesson technically are the word problems that entail one step. And the second section or the second lesson entails the word problems that would have two or more steps. So we will begin with lesson one and they call it solving word problems one. Okay, so remember if it's word problems, the bar models are an essential tool. So since we have been doing addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, we need all types of bar models. Starting with part whole, add on, take away, and compare for addition and subtraction. Because remember, there's also a compare for multiplication and division. We will also have the simple bar model for multiplication unless you choose to use the number of groups, items per group, or n total items approach. So let's begin by solving from page 122. So problem number three says, Bob travels 6.17 kilometers from his home to school. The distance from the school to the park is twice the distance from his home to school. Question is, how far is the park from the school? Now, this problem has a graph and I don't like it. So I'm not gonna discuss it that way because it's not helpful for the kids. So I'll discuss it using the appropriate bar model. So since it says twice, that means that's compare, and that's multiplication compare. So the first is from home to school, and then from school to park. The distance from his home to the school is 6.17, and the distance from the school to the park is twice. So that means one box and two boxes. Okay, so which means since this is 6.17 kilometers, the question is how far is it from the park to the school? This is what we're looking for. So clearly this is a multiplication problem. And our equation will be 6.17 times 2 equals question mark. So if we can't do mentally, we will do computationally. 6.17 times 2 is multiply. That would be 4. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. And then 12 there's two decimal places, so that means the distance from his from the park to the school is 12.34 kilometers. Okay, let's try another problem, which is problem number four on the same page. So in problem number four, it says, eight similar packets of chocolate costs $19.20. Find the cost of one packet of chocolate. So, which means we can do a bar model, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight packets costs $19.20. And the question is, what is the cost of each? Okay, but if we don't want to do the bar model, we can also approach this as number of groups, items per group, and total items. So the number of groups is 8. The total, oops, this is technically instead of that, since it's money, remember, this should be number of things, amount per thing, and total amount. So if 
the kids can continue filling this out, they don't need to change because it's the same. So this would have been eight. This would have been $19.20, and that's the question mark. So whether they use those three or these three, it's the same operations. So please do not be so hard on your kids. It's the same thing. Okay, so which means if we look at this, the equation will be 19.20 divided by 8 because... What's missing is the each. Okay, so if we can't do mentally, we will do computationally. So I will write it here, 19.20 divided by 8. So I can put the decimal at the start or I can put it at the end. Doesn't matter. Okay, so 19 divided by 2, divided by 8 is 2. So that means that will be 16. Subtract, that will make it 3. Bring down 2. Divide, that will make it 4. Multiply, that will make it 32. Subtract, bring down. So again, here if the kids end up not putting the 0, it's actually okay. But they should get used to putting the 0 because 0 divided by 8 is zero. So that means when I multiply, that again is zero. So the cost of each packet of chocolate happens to be $2.40. That concludes lesson one of chapter 12. See you in